pointsbox.com. This site is by Lee Overy, and he would like some general feedback on the top one third. He is afraid that maybe it's a little bit boring. It doesn't explain the site very well. It doesn't put its first foot, its first foot, its best foot, put its best foot forward. And uh, we'd just like to get some ideas on how to improve that. First, the typography. This is Proxima Nova, and uh, it's. I would probably recommend taking a look at maybe a different font for the headings. You can leave the leave it for your body text. It's totally fine. It's a great font. Um, but if you're, if you, maybe you can find something, I see Proxima Nova is on Typekit. So if you go to Typekit, there's some great font foundries like Pseudopost or however you say that. Um, maybe one of these fonts that has like, you know, some more character, some flourishes to it and try it out for size. Um, that's just one thought. Uh, if you're going to stick with Proxima Nova, I would kill, like you've got this tracking wide in here. I'd probably tighten this up for sure. Uh, like almost negative even when you're working with larger font sizes, I would bump it up, increase the font weight. This is like a 500, 600 weight. Yeah, 600. And the rest of it's probably 500, like barely bold. It just kind of looks like there's maybe something wrong. The weight difference is not enough. So I'd try to make that stand out a little bit more. Uh, stretch this out, get to like two lines. I think that would probably look better uh, for the text. And uh, I mean, that's that's just like the easy stuff. now. Looking at what this is actually doing, what you're explaining, what you're showing, what this does. Okay, you're earning gift cards by doing stuff uh, like activities, uh, by playing games, by completing offers. Okay, so I get it. This is like, a, you know, I'm getting paid to give feedback or watch ads kind of thing. So the first thought I have as a user is, you know, what do I get for my time? So what we're seeing here is a lot of user interface, but it's not a lot of real data, like 97,787.8 points. Like this looks like fake information to me. So what I would love to see is like dynamic, like real data. Like what is a real, uh, like a real activity or, or action or thing that you can do? And what are the real points you get for it? And then what are the points actually worth? Like how many points does it take to get? Uh, a gift card, like a $5 gift card to Amazon or Starbucks or whatever. So instead of showing the UI, which is nice, it looks clean, like no problems there, but I don't know that the UI is gonna get somebody to use this. I think the return on their time investment is gonna get what is gonna be the thing that gets people to actually sign up and do this thing. Okay, so like bonus points for starting, that's great, that's fine, um, but is 650 bonus points a lot or is it nothing? Is that like, worth 50 cents? Is it worth five cents? Is it worth five bucks? I don't know. All right, so we're going to scroll down and we're going to see if we can find that out. Here's how it works. Earn, refer, spend, cash out points for cards. Okay, cool. And then we repeat that. So we go earn, re refer, spend, and we've now explained it two times. I noticed this reward catalog, there's no link. I can't actually browse it. So if you don't have a public reward catalog browsable, I would change this headline. And uh, down here uh, in the content, there's a lot of exclamation marks. I keep it to one. I'd maybe keep it to one exclamation mark per three paragraphs, maybe even four or five. Like there's nothing wrong with an exclamation mark, but the more you use, the more it feels like you're trying to get somebody excited or like used car salesman. And I just, I tone that back a little bit. Kill all your ellipses, like pretty much everywhere in your site. You probably don't need them. You've got a lot. There's like here and here and here. Anywhere else? One, two, we got six of them. Next up is referring. You don't need these. Spend, spend, spend. Just change the headline. If you feel like it doesn't explain it without the ellipses, kill it, rewrite it. Um, so that's, I mean, that's kind of like the, the top level information for me. Just one other thought here is like, okay, so you uh, explain a high level here, right? Then you explain a little bit more with these giant icons. It's kind of not, kind of not necessary. Then you explain it again with screenshots that you've already shown up here. One, two, three, I think these are the same three shots again. Then you have a how it works page that explains it again with a lot of really, really casual language like LOLs, parentheticals, like two of them and subsequent more, uh, you know, more ellipses, more ellipses, more ellipses, more ellipses. Then you have a TLDR. So like too long, didn't read on the homepage or these three paragraphs. And then the TLDR almost feels like more work to read than this. And then you say, so how does it work? Like, did you not explain it right here? 
explaining it again here. <laughs> just, I would work out, spend a little bit of time, like uh, take four hours and just rewrite and rewrite and rewrite and rewrite and rewrite and rewrite and rewrite it over and over again until you can say it as cleanly and clearly how it works in as little words as possible. And then if you can use real data, real photos, real images to support that uh, content. And if you can't mock up the closest thing to real, you know, interface, like, you know, numbers, points or whatever, as you can. I think those things will kind of peel back the, is this real? Is this fake? Will I actually get paid out? Like the more casual the language, the more it feels like maybe this is a template and like, it's not an actual working thing yet. And then just like a little bit, not sure. Okay. That's it. I don't have any more feedback for you. Aesthetically, like the design styles, it's clean. I don't think that's your weakest link. I think it's the content and actually showing uh, real world information to get people to use this thing. I hope that helps.